I'm going to give another example of a, of a, a dog that, that is trained uh, and so forth. So, you know, I talked about diabetes and maybe detecting blood sugar. I talked about oh, there could be depression as well. That's an example of something that you may not be able to see, um, that a person is suffering from either um, a disability that is a mental health issue um, of some sort, uh, but that it could be a service dog and they may have a mental health issue. So it's, you know, I, again, I, I kind of, it's, Service dog is not just for somebody with a physical disability. A service dog can be somebody with, with, a, with a mental type disability. It, but again, it does have to perform some type of a service um, as well. But, um, but, you know, that could be being trained to remind that person who uh, has Alzheimer's or a memory issue to take their medication, right? You know, like that could be a, a function of a service dog for somebody who has a mental or some other type of um, uh, awareness issue or memory issue or something like that. Um, or depression, anxiety, and all this, um, where they, a service dog can remind them about their medication. Uh, talk about epilepsy. Okay, so another question I'm asked a lot, are our emotional support animals, also called a therapy animal, sometimes a comfort animal, a companion animal, considered service animals, at least under the American with Disabilities Act? Um, no, they're not. Um, those terms are used to describe animals that do provide a comfort just by being with that person or by that person. Um, but oftentimes those dogs or those animals have not been trained. Uh, another question that, that was frequently asked, is someone's dog calms them when anxiety attack, does this qualify them as a service animal? Well, it depends. So the American with Disabilities Act does make a distinction between some type of psychiatric animal, service animals and emotional support animals. And it says basically, this, according to the American with Disabilities Act, that if the dog has been trained to sense that an anxiety um, is about to happen and tell that person to take that specific action, such as taking their medication, then it's a service animal. Um, but if that dog's mere presence provides comfort, but doesn't tell them to take their medication, then it wouldn't be considered a service animal. It would be considered a comfort animal um, or some type of a companion animal. 